All right, we'll get started with Central Connecticut State. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Hickey, take questions for the student athletes, and then dismiss them, and then have questions for Coach Hickey. Coach, go ahead. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, first off. Um, thought it was a terrific environment, obviously a great crowd. Um, you know, we were going to have to play a perfect game, um, and fortunately, we didn't come up with that today, but we battled hard. I'm awfully proud of our team. Um, we competed. There was a, a couple spots where we were trying to hold on. Um, talked about it yesterday, giving a quality team like that extra outs. Um, you know, our center fielder made a great effort on a play and didn't come up with it. And they capitalized and turned it into three runs. Um, the one inning where they gave us some extra outs, we were only able to capitalize and get one run. You know, and we needed to stick closer to them to uh, obviously try to put some pressure back on their shoulders. But when they separated a little bit, um, you know, I, I was proud of our team that we stuck around and kept battling, battling. And, and unfortunately, we lost today, but I'm awfully proud of our team. All right, raise your hand. We'll call on you. Questions for student athletes. Go ahead, Bob. Thank you. Okay, you any mics over there? Nope. No? Okay. This is for, for Brandon. We talked yesterday about Arkansas having a great lineup, but they've been struggling. Um, what did you see from them, the, the lineup as a whole, and, and, and Heston Kirstead in particular? How, how tough was he? Um, I thought they were really aggressive. Um, I definitely had to mix a lot because if I threw too many of the same pitch in a row, they were going to cheat to it and jump all over it. Um, Kirstead's a really good hitter. Um, tried to work him away, didn't work, came back in, and that was the one that he got. Um, I think overall as a lineup, I know they've been cold in the in the SEC tournament, but they came out ready to play today. They were aggressive, and they hit some, some good pitches. TT just went the starter. Uh, Nolan, kind of what was he throwing you all, and then also your home run. Yeah, um, I mean, I could tell early that uh, they tried to attack me with off speed, which my first at bat I did. I'm, I saw four pitches and all off speed, and um, even my next at bat when I got up with uh, runners in scoring position, and uh, he threw me a first pitch curveball that I, I hit the sack fly on. But um, you, I mean, I could tell after my first at bat and even my second that like that was going to be their go-to for me is to throw the off speed and just try to get me off balance, which in some of my bats it worked out on, and some it didn't. So, any more questions for the student athletes? Yeah, TT, the, the home run pitch you got. Uh, can you just talk about that situation? Well, I mean, um, there was runners on first and second with only one out. So, I mean, their intentions were to definitely try to get me into a double play, and um, I could tell he, he just missed his spot and like left it over the uh, the plate and. That was the goal, just to hit mistakes today, and he gave me one, and I got into it. Brand, the depth of their lineup, that's kind of been their strength all year. What, how tough was it just to kind of navigate through that lineup? Uh, every pitch I had to compete. Um, I couldn't take a pitch off because they would capitalize on it. Um, I mean, the lineup with that depth is, is tough. You just got to grind through it, grind through it. and I mean, that's what you work for all offseason is to face guys like this and, and be, try to be prepared for it as best you can. But they were definitely tough. From, from top to bottom. Any news for both guys? I know y'all haven't played in a lot of, front of a lot of big crowds. Um, even though you lost, how much did you enjoy the atmosphere and everything today? It's definitely an amazing experience being a smaller Northeast school and being able to earn our privilege to come down here and compete with these teams. It's it's definitely a, a very good experience being able to play in this atmosphere. I mean, those fans were amazing. There was about 10, 12,000 of them all screaming and yelling the whole game. I mean, that's just, you can never recreate that feeling. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with what he said. It was awesome. I mean, even in BP, there was more people than we typically see at, at a game. So just being there and seeing that was awesome to play in front of, and it was an electric atmosphere. Any more questions for student athletes? All right, thanks, fellas. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Chicky. Bob. No. Found their hitting stroke again today. What did you think of that? And did you expect them to, to hit well? I did. Uh, I mean, again, they're not the fifth ranked team in the country for no reason. Um, and again, we just had to have balls hit at them or hit at us. Uh, but they were aggressive and they got up there and they took advantage of some counts. And, you know, to their credit, 
you know, they I, I was just looking, I think they had 17 base runners, you know, in eight innings, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on you, and then they broke through when they needed to. What did you think of Kirsch, Thad? You know, he had a big home run, double, single. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know where it was going to come from, and, and a team like this that, that is balanced throughout, um, you know, he obviously saw the ball well. I think his first hit was on an 0-2 pitch. Um, and then obviously you get into a groove, he's seen the ball well, and, and he put some good swings on it today. What did you think of Nolan, their, their starter? You know, um, you know, I thought he was very efficient, you know, and, and threw enough breaking balls. And, and I, I, I thought, you know, even though the numbers on the board don't look it in terms of we might have only had two hits off of them or three, but I thought we put some good swings on them and hit some balls hard. Um, you know, their center fielder made some balls look awfully easy that I thought were a little more difficult to catch. Um, you know, and I again, we just didn't string enough together um, to be able to get in a position like that spot where we had when they made a couple errors and, and we had TT and, and Dave Matthews and Buddy Dwayne coming up, you know, I think they stepped up a notch and obviously went to the bullpen and all of a sudden that threat was one run instead of what we needed, which was probably three or four. So the cops got the back-to-back -back strikeouts when you guys had two guys on. Right, the that's stick. exactly I mean, what, what I'm talking what'd about. What do you think of what he did there? And just uh, I, like I said, I, I knew they had somebody down there. You know, and, and they know what they're doing, obviously, and, and they put themselves in a position in the winner's bracket game, and I'm sure they, they've got some other weapons down there in the bullpen. Um, but he came in and made some terrific pitches in some big spots, and like I said, that was that was one of that was our window to, to try to close, and, and we didn't accomplish that. Any more questions for Coach? Do you have a defined starter for tomorrow, or who? Uh, Tom Curtin will start tomorrow. Um, you know, a little bit of our decisions today, you know, we, if we were closer or tied, you know, in the fifth inning, we probably would have gone to Mike Apple. You know, we went to Pat Mitchell. He's, he's the, the, the fifth best of, of what we have. So tomorrow, I feel we have Tom Curtin, Mike Apple, and Jared Gallagher lined up to go. Um, if we need more than that, then we're going to have difficulty winning. Uh, TT's had those back-to-back -back knee surgeries, mm -hmm. and he comes in today and has five RBIs. Uh, I'm sure he's probably not 100% now, I wouldn't think. Maybe he is, but what did you think of his performance? Well, I, I, you know, it, him coming back halfway through the year changed our team, um, and he does what he was capable of doing, and that's part of the reason why we're here, um, that he has a presence in the middle of our order to – you know, with one swing, get us three runs. You know, unfortunately, at the time, it was nine to two. Um, but, yeah, I I think he could build on this. And, and I, I think the opportunity we had two years ago down at Fort Worth helped some of these guys relax and play today. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of them and, and happy for them that they came out here and, and played. It's, it's, it's a lot to ask 18, 19, 20-year-olds to do for the first time to play in front of a – a great crowd and a, and a great atmosphere. But I think they enjoyed it. When they go to bed tonight, they're going to be proud of themselves. Scotty. Hey, Coach, your thoughts on Trevor Zell's approach is another guy in the lineup that had three hits today. Yeah, no, I, I just looked at it, and, and for a second there, I thought we had controlled them. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you look like, all right, he had three hits, and, you know, the next guy had three hits, and that's what good teams are. You know, they, they constantly put you – under the gun, pressure-wise, they put the ball in play. Um, I mean, we struck out three batters, you know, so the ball's in play a lot. And on a, on a fast surface like this, it's going to happen like that. But, no, there are a lot of good players that I saw in the dugout. I, you know, have not seen them play before, you know, but I, I really admired the catcher, you know, and I don't know where he stands in there. I don't see a lot of gaudy numbers, but I thought he controlled the, the pitchers and the, and the game uh, very well. Anything else for Coach Hickey? Coach, thank you for your time. All right, appreciate it again. Thank you.